your own home. I'll get that there for you. There you go, bubbles. It's actually Yanko's birthday. You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. So I am actually in Vermont at my significant other's place. Um, yeah, that's where I've been editing film and whatnot. It's supposed to get snow. Low boy uh, was getting new tires. They ended up not putting tires last week. They got too busy. This week it's getting tires. Then the 7520 can get moved. Then we can move stuff in. Problem is, farm's probably going to have like 20 inches of snow by the end of the week. We just can't get stuck. Like, well, we we will get stuck if we try to do that. But, uh, yeah, as I said, their plan is to have beef cows at my place because there's a herd of beef cows here, along with some dairy cows and whatnot. So you'll see them in the background. I got to do some tasks this morning. Just got done editing video. Um, yeah. What did we do this morning? Sent a ton of office work because today is actually Monday. So by the time you see this, it will be past the day. But uh, <clears throat> I had to make up for all the office work from last Thursday, Friday, Saturday that I really didn't get around to. Uh, and she actually has in her horse stalls here. This is started leaking itself. So this morning it was all wet in here and we're supposed to get, like I said, snow. So it is gonna be quite the headache. But alrighty, I'm gonna dive into this, figure out what I gotta do and uh, give you guys an update on it. Okay, so we need a one inch water valve. The problem that we had going on here was it wasn't shutting itself off up here and it was leaking past and then it overflows. So even though we adjusted it down, it still had issues. How are we doing, Pony? Ponies, dog. Yeah. Gonna be a cowboy and ride a horse. <laughs> I've only ever rode a horse three times in my life, but none of them ever went well. So we're just gonna run to the store, grab a uh, new water, shut off, well, water valve. So that will be all good. And we get a list of other things to do today. Maybe clean barn, stuff like that. So you guys will get some content. As far as my girlfriend, some people realized when I went and got the sprayer that there was somebody in my life at that time. Honestly, that person left my life when my life started falling apart. Um, as far as leaving the whole family side. So this person you guys have not seen at all and you will, will probably not see for quite a long time because honestly putting somebody in the level that I'm at as far as social media and the people that are in the comments that write negative nasty things um, whenever they see a woman on people's channels, stuff like that, um, the creeps. So if you're writing a creepy comment right now, cut it out. Um, so that is why, um, but yeah. She's in my life, and it's really good, and it's nice, and we both have a lot of the same end goals as far as life goals. So, alrighty, let's go to the store. As you see behind me, winter weather's back, which that brings us to this video's partnership. Icy boots have been absolutely awesome. So, been rocking my tall boots. I actually got a short set. They got delivered to the house, so we gotta grab those. These. They got women's boots too, so yeah. Not only am I rocking it, but my girlfriend's got a set too. So keep your feet dry, dry, warm in climate like this right now. Between muddy days one day, next day it's snowing, back to sunshine. Been really, really awesome boots. They pride themselves on 100% keep dry and warm and a 100 year warranty. So I haven't needed the warranty. They've held up amazing. And uh, I usually kill boots pretty quickly. So link down below, 15% off. Go check it out. High C boots. Yeah, been awesome. Okay. We're gonna go do a little bit of shopping here. Nico does need dog food. I had enough, but it's, uh, it's in the 
moving container, moving trailer. So, need a water valve and need uh, some dog food. Get that there for you. There you go, boys. All right. Somebody got a free tennis ball, and they were absolutely ecstatic. Tennis ball and a treat. Tractor Supply, you guys do do a killer job uh, with being pet friendly. So we're swinging through here, and I figured we might as well, might as well do a dealer drive through. We're not in a super big rush, but we are gonna. Well, we got plans later, so doing some stuff it's been about a year um, since we stopped through here last time we went to Bordeaux and got some plastic and then we actually ended up um, picking up corn planter parts so we'll just do a drive through of Champlain equipment see what's in, what they got in their lot see what goes on here oh they got some more balers yeah We'll just drive around. Champlain Equipment did write in my messages or in the comments last time and said thanks for stopping in. So stuff like that is pretty cool. Got a bunch of Kubotas. We'll go in the back section, some people's equipment, and see what it is. Mergers, big M's. Hmm. Got some little stuff too. 420 220 set of triples here coon triples another big M oh the black one looks they look good in black black is hot I like black as far as the equipment, I'd love a black beauty scent. Um, Iroquois Acres. You know who they are. Look at this, out here wandering around. Let's see. I don't think I know anybody that works for Champlain still. We got people at Salem. We did meet some good people from, uh, whatchamacallit the other day? United other locations of United. So, yeah. Got service trucks. Quite a collection of random stuff here. So, new Coon mowers, new New Holland mowers. Never ran a New Holland mini loader. Might be something to think about. But we're not we're not really New Holland people. So Michael loves just driving around. Yeah, these are the newer bailers. Might get out and check them out. So, stationary bailers. One has a big table, and that one looks like a little. I'm gonna get out and check them out. Nico's probably gonna park. Let's see. So, they're meant to bale corn silage is what they're really meant for yeah this one's got like a that's a different setup it flips down and then it's like a trough um, and then you it feeds up into it and then it makes a round bale and wraps it so they they're designed in Europe or they're used in Europe a lot more than America but smaller farms if they're able to buy wrap silage bales that uh, then they can store. They don't need a bunk. They can buy them over a period of time. It's kind of neat. But this one's got a whole table set up on it. I like that. Back right underneath it. We got the auger. It's not. It's been used. They're not brand new. Is this a Martin box? Artsway. I like the Martin boxes. But, yeah, quite the piece of kit. So then it bails it, wraps it, and sets it there. There's some new parts here for him. Coon merger, H&S mergers, 
puppy dog. How you doing? You having a good day? You missed me while I was in Florida? Big M, pull type choppers, tedders. They do got quite a, quite a bit of. That's new coon double rake, the big rake too. See, this is another baler. Yeah, it's like a trough that dumps over. It must be for like a live floor. Just falls in the back. It's not as big, so. That crone. The lift and rotate ones that go down the road real narrow. I'd like something like that for right now. Um, if we do end up doing some hay this year. 450, that's a big girl. And then we got a grain drill. New drink, grain drill. So, I did drive through here like three weeks ago. Um, and check some stuff out, but they got more stuff on the lot since then, so. Hope truck. Alright, we'll pull into United. We'll see what's going on here. We're gonna see somebody later who bought a big articulate. I don't know if it's still here or not. Um but a lot of lawnmowers up here. They did have an 8R410 last time I was here, but I don't see it unless they brought it into the shop. This 960's a little sun baked. Or sun bleached, however you want to say it. But they're a deer dealer, so must have taken it on a trade. 2017. It has 1,450 hours on it. Came from Monroe, which makes sense for being in this area. Some of the E series and. Yeah. Quite a bit of Pottinger kit. Well, supposedly that baler got traded in. Um, the guy was unhappy with it, I think somebody said. That's why there's New Holland stuff at a deer dealer. And I know they got a few choppers out back, but we're not gonna drive around there. They got an 8400 or whatnot. So, that boss body would be nice. Someday. We're back. We did drive around a little bit. I had to stop at a shop and grab some pipe dope oh, some pipes some pipe tape so she's done feeding stuff chickens are having a ball turns out that water valve trot valve i guess it would be um or float turns out that float that i grabbed it's too deep i thought it was going to be too i thought it was going to sit up too high but uh you can't get the plunger out so to drain it um and in the meantime that water all overflowed so we're gonna have to shovel this out i started putting sawdust but i gotta do some stalls or do the alleyways and we got dogs on dogs and we got a chicken here that's supposed to be inside and unhappy but we'll swing some stalls in <clears throat> swing some gates in and then we can clean out the front here. How we doing? And rebed because well, as we all know, it's gonna it's gonna snow. So doing it tomorrow really doesn't sound that much fun. No, these are not all of my girlfriend's cows. There's like a hundred out on pasture. And yeah, we weaned some last week. Half the herd's gonna calve, over half the herd's gonna calve this uh, summer. So, a lot of calves. But, uh, yeah, some of the dairy animals are show animals. Um, since they do, her family milks quite a bit of cows. So, we got the gale. It took me quite a little bit to get used to running it because one, one lever control is uh, forward back side to side and the other is the bucket. I like the foot controls a lot.
I honestly don't know what I'm doing here because <clears throat> I usually don't do this. I just take orders um, as far as what to do, where to go. But my girlfriend, she's at work and it's going to snow tomorrow. So I said, yeah, I'll, I'll mess around with the barn. So there's bedding hay in the back that you spread out. This bale was about full and it was in the back corner. So I took some of it and split it up in every group. We're going to have to just work it around. But the alleyway is clean. We'll put some sawdust once we're done messing around with the bales. Then you come over here. I took some of that bale. Made a mess coming over. We're going to clean that up. But bedded these pens. They're not being used right now. Look at the little ones. Um, not being used right now. But they might be. You're a Wagyu, aren't you? Yeah. So, mostly Herefords. Let me grab a pitchfork. Whoa. Work all this into that pen. Between farming and cows, they'll definitely put you back in shape. A little out of shape, so. I absolutely love to see it. Comfy cow laying down. They're all messing around with the hay. That bale of hay that is all spread out through this was actually in this pen. So the fact that they're all excited to munch on it, even though they've had it in their pen for quite a while. So you got some more bedding hay that you can move around, but they're looking good. Just got to bed down the alleyways. We got two bales outside to move back in. Um, so as you see, this is good hay, feeding hay, and then that's bedding hay. So there's difference of it. Um, yeah, and there's three chicken eggs. There was three chicken eggs last night there too. So chickens are right on it. When I pressed the record button, this cow got up. Otherwise we had six all laying down looking great. So, put a little bit of bedding in the front there, soak up some moisture. I'm sure somebody's gonna ask, so we'll walk over here, give you a rundown. 46, 4635SX, Gale Skid Steer, on those uh, no air tires. So, yeah, not the top pick I'd run for a skid steer, but never really been a Gale fan, huh? Just never, and I know a lot of dairies. I got a lot of buddies that they really like their gales. But for me, I just, I'll you guys there. For me, I just don't, I don't see it. People have asked before and I've said before, the older New Hollands, and not the brand brand news, but the deers, I like the deers. Not the old deers, the old deers were junk. People are going to say cats, blah, blah, blah. Everybody knows my opinion on the cat skid steers. Some of them, I think the tracked biggest machines are nice, but there's quite a few uh, skid steers that cat makes that are not balanced very well in my eyes. All done. Everything's fed. Open back up. Doors are shut. Hmm. Good thing I did get chores done yesterday because, well, it's, it's been a blizzard most of the day. Let me show you outside. Yep. So we just gotta go check on some cows. We'll go down there and then, uh, it's actually Yanko's birthday. So I'm going to get him ice cream. So, and some treats, but 
Yeah, he's a good dog. Birthday boy back there. Why are you whining? Tell everybody that you're eight. Yeah, you're eight years old. Oh, you're coming up to get the toys, aren't you? Just got his toys out of the truck. What do you want, the tennis ball? Free tennis ball? Here, you can come right up then. Yep. That's all he wanted was the tennis ball. It is, it's blizzarding. Blizzarding quite a bit. So, we'll go check the cows that are out on pasture that have <coughs> feed readily available for them. Just make sure that they're good. Yeah. So, this is winter pasture ground. As you see, there's corn stalks actually out in there. So, they put the cows out on it. And it's been, uh, overall this winter, it's been pretty good. Um, as far as, well, we had some snow on the roof, I guess. We'll fix that. But uh, we'll go check the cows that are actually out there. Got quite a bit of snow on the roof. Okay. All revved up. Just because it's your birthday, bud. Usually, the key to this is having a gate person. Then you don't actually have to get in and out. But. Yeah, it is. It's really snowing. But granted up here they've got like three inches down where my equipment actually is and this was my worry down where my equipment is they've got like 12 to 18 I've seen somebody sent me 20 inches there goes the plow and uh actually where my house is where the farm is um they really haven't got much snow at all so which that's a good thing because we are gonna have to get in and out of there. Alrighty. We're just gonna check them quick. We'll leave that gate down. They won't be faster than us to get back up here. They're probably down in the trees. But yeah, so corn ground, they just fence it in the fall. And I see more and more of that out west. That's a big thing of everything is fenced. Um, and then they put cows out on it to graze it after taking the crop off. So they actually look pretty content. They got feed in the wagons. There's still some hay that they can lay in. Um, and they're all bundled together, most of them here. There's a few there, but. Yeah, they look pretty good. They got hay on the other side. Um, feed still in the wagons. So the concern is if they don't have any hay to get in. Um, and it's just they're laying in snow, but it hasn't snowed that much, so we'll back out of here, head to town, get him some ice cream, so we realize it is his birthday and he's not just whining. We gotta put these windows up, I'm trying not to get stuck here. That's why I took her Jeep, not my pickup. So, looking good, cows. As I said previously, mostly, mostly Herefords, a mm -hmm. um, few other animals, but yeah, they look good. Well, we got the birthday boy, his birthday dinner, well, birthday dessert. Happy birthday, buddy. Alrighty, that's enough for today. We did a little bit of uh, cold ranching and he's gonna finish his dessert and the other dogs here are getting dessert too. But appreciate you guys watching along. Appreciate everybody probably said happy birthday to Yanko. Eight years old, buddy. Been through a lot. Looking forward to this year. Have a good one.